now we are going to learn about phylum platyhelminthes and this phylum platyhelminthes it come under a group called as non chordates so what are these non chordates they are generally called as invertebrates which do not have vertebral column right okay so this phylum platyhelminthes it is also known as flatworms uh, the greek word platy platy means flat and helminth means worm so this phylum platyhelminthes they are commonly called as what flatworms and there are about 12000 species and next we'll move on to the characteristics of this platyhelminthes here it is dorso ventrally flattened body so what do you mean by dorso ventrally both dorsal side and ventral side it is flattened and hence called as what flatworms right and next is bilaterally symmetrical what do you mean by bilaterally symmetrical the body of an organism when it can be divided into similar parts right by only one plane then you use the term bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic tri means three so what are the three layers ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm okay if all the three layers are present and those organisms they are called as what triploblastic animals and next is a coelomate a means absence so what is coelom body cavity so if the body cavity is absent in that case you use the term a coelomate so here with organ system level of organization so when you just look at the uh, phylum platyhelminthes body is multicellular right and the uh, uh, organism consists of many organ systems uh, to perform specific functions and they are mostly endoparasite what do you mean by the term endo endo means inside so if the organism lives inside the body of the host then you use the term endoparasite so including human beings right and hooks and suckers are present in parasitic forms what is the function of these hooks and suckers they serve as organs of attachment and these are the examples of platyhelminthes you can just have a look at this uh, liver fluke and next this planaria and uh, here the, these are the examples of flatworms phylum platyhelminthes okay next the body is not segmented here but some exhibit pseudo segmentation what do you mean by the term pseudo it is false and flatworms like liver fluke they have an incomplete digestive system and uh, specialized excretory cells called flame cells uh, what are these flame cells they are otherwise called as solenocytes and what is the function of this flame cell it help in osmoregulation and excretion you can just have a look at this uh, picture and uh, what about the classification of platyhelminthes there are three classes Turbellaria, Trematoda, and Cestoda. So, class Turbellaria, example Planaria; class Trematoda, example Fluke; and class Cestoda, example Tapeworm. Thank you.